Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this video demonstration, we'll be looking at printing multiple baselines. Now, this involves changing views in Microsoft Project to enable the printing of multiple baselines. This now will be covered in this video. In this demonstration, we're going to look at printing multiple baselines in Microsoft Project. Now, in the example we're looking at on screen, has two baselines. There's been a baseline set for the ID1, which is design job specification. There's been a delay for this task. And there's a second baseline that's been added for ID11, which is the first interview. Now, the baseline that's shown at present is for the second baseline, which is for the first interview. If I wanted to show the original baseline for the ID1 and design job specification, go back to my Gantt chart, baseline, and I can show the original baseline. But I have to go back to look at that one because it's behind as well back. It's back in August. So now I might say, well, I want to print both baselines. The best way of printing the baselines is in a different view, and that's in the task tab. Gantt chart drop an arrow, more views. And the view we're looking for is multiple baselines Gantt. So this is how you can now print multiple baselines. Apply this view. So here's the two baselines. The red is the second baseline for the first interview, and the blue is the original baseline for the design job specification. But as we can see, they're quite well separated, and that's because of the time scale area, the way it's set up at present by default. Because 97 days is what the duration is between both baselines. And the week and day segments will not show this very well in print. Because if I went to print now, it doesn't look very effective. So I'm going to go back into project. I'm going to affect the time scale. Now to affect the time scale in this view or any view, we can right click over the time scale area and choose time scale. Another way of getting this gray box for time scale is to double left click over the over the day area or the week area, which is the default for time scale. And the same time scale box appears. Now here we, we need to change the middle tier and the bottom tier. So the middle tier is presently weeks, and the bottom tier is is the days in the week. So the middle tier we're going to change to something that's suitable to go with 97 days for printing purposes. So we'll go for months, but we'll go for every second month. And we'll give it a effective label. So you uh, the year in the month label. The bottom tier will now go for weeks, but to every second week, again, the counter two. So sometimes you've got to change the time scale to get printing effective in multiple views. And that's what we're doing now in the multiple baseline Gantt view. I'm going to click OK now. And that looks better now for printing purposes. We can see the blue one is the original baseline. The red is the second baseline. Let's see what this look, looks like in print. So we go file print, and it doesn't look very effective. Now the reason for this is because the original baseline, we've got to go back to the date the project was originally set on before it was delayed to show the original baseline. So the date this project was originally set was the 7th of August. So we're going to go back to the 7th of August, and then we'll see the effect of the original baseline. And now we can see it. So now we can see the original baseline, the second baseline. And now this would be effective now for printing purposes. And this now completes the video on printing multiple baselines. This concludes the video demonstration on printing multiple baselines. Hope you found the video to be of use and uh, enjoyable to watch. See you next time.